Back to the original point, you need to give a video about Tom Brady's retirement. Yeah, she's up in Houston, Texas. What's this gonna be? <laughs> Where are we going today? Damn it. That's not the answer. TMC parents. Where are we going today? No. <laughs> The Asheville Art Museum. Are we gonna write some acrostic poetry? Let's start a new one. Okay. Where are we going today? No, cut. <laughs> oh my god. We're going to the Asheville Art Museum. Are we gonna write some acrostic poetry? You are. What's the, your favorite piece of art that you've ever seen in a gallery? Oh, what are those big stupid blocks that are one color? <sighs> Rothko? No. My favorites are the Joseph Albert Square paintings of Marshall Squares in the Raleigh Art Museum and somebody thinks they're lame. Well, those are genius. I love those. Look, it's a square, only it's blue. Albertson? Joseph Albers? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna edit you out. Smack about squares. Take back what you said about square paintings. They're smart. Yeah. Explain to the people why this is your favorite one. Because I like how sloppy it is. This is better than the squares? Yes! <laughs> hey guys, so I realized I never filmed an outro to the day that Eli and I went to the city and we tried to go to the art museum, but they were closed due to inclement weather and so we went to Blue Spiral. Blue Spiral 1, am I remembering that correctly? We went to another art gallery instead. And never mind the, the hanging frog in the background. I, I don't know if this is a childhood toy of Eli's, but like, he thinks frogs are good luck. They're his favorite animal. I'm also realizing I don't yet know where the best lighting in this apartment is. It's really strange because there's like so much good natural light in here, but it's not picking up on camera. I thought my screen was dirty or like my camera, so I cleaned it. Anyway, but the writing at the gallery went really well. I drafted a poem pretty much the next day. Like I took notes or I did some free writing actually at the gallery. And then I went home the next day and had a writing session and pretty much put out a first draft that was, I think, fairly polished. And I wrote in response to the clear cairn. How do you pronounce that? Okay, it's the stack of rocks. I've heard somebody say cairn, which I don't know is correct. I've heard kern. I've heard cur like kern. Anyway, 
I was writing in response to that piece. And obviously I have like wedding on the brain. I think today we're actually like three months out from the day we're gonna get married. So I was thinking about that when I was writing and how building a life is kind of like building a kern and how on one hand, like you have to be so delicate and intentional about not going past, right? Like the, the fulcrum point, the, the center of gravity so that things don't collapse. I was also thinking about how you start with like the broadest rock at the bottom and then every single rock that you stack up gets narrower, it gets smaller and smaller in circumference. And that's kind of like life choices too, right? I mean, every choice we make will open a different pathway or different pathways, plural. But a lot of times with each important life choice we're making, we kind of are narrowing the scope of what that next step could be. And then also too, just thinking about how precarious that whole process is but you still have to do it. You still have to run the risk of everything toppling down to build something new. And how the artist had chosen to alternate between stone and glass and stone and glass. And even how the precariousness of the whole piece unsettled me a little bit. The repetition, the pattern of stone, glass, stone, glass, that settled me. So I'm not gonna share that piece online yet or on YouTube because I did submit it to some journals. So hopefully in the future, I'll be able to share it in a link or maybe a reading video. But give this video a thumbs up if you liked seeing us explore downtown. I'm thinking about doing maybe like a whole series. There's obviously the coffee vlog, which I'll put up. Um, but I think it would be fun to just kind of do like a poet or two poets explore this in Asheville. So let me know if there are other things that you guys think we should check out. Obviously we're, we want to do more art galleries and the art museum proper, but let me know if there are any places you're curious that you think that we should check out and maybe list down below in the comments or share like what your favorite piece of visual art is. That would be really cool. Like if we just got a running list of everybody's favorite visual piece of art, and then maybe we could all have like an, an acrostic workshop or something like that where you write a poem in response to somebody else's favorite piece but thank you guys as always for hanging out if you haven't subscribed you are more than welcome to do so and i'll see you guys in the next one bye